Hi, it's Susan here. I'm going to show you today how I actually paint in pastels, soft pastels, a dog's tongue. I've already painted the face of the dog and I'm now going to actually do the tongue. So the first thing I need to do is to um, recognise where the shadows are on the tongue and go for the light. So I'm going to actually do the middle part with a deep purple just a little bit there and then I'm going to take a darker a tiny bit of blue a little bit of blue a little bit as we go nearer the the throat we're going to find that the shadow gets actually deeper and then in the very back I'm going to use <coughs> excuse me not a black but a dark brown so those are my colour grades so far. Then I'm going to take a slightly lighter pink. I'm coming down in my tones. And then an even lighter one. As we get nearer the tip of the tongue. And then at the tip, the very tip of the tongue, it is quite a deep red. And around the edge and then a lighter pink so there I have different tones I've got your brown and then a sort of deep gray blue which is a gray number eight with unison and then I've got the p9 which is the purple then the p12 and then the re1 and then the P6 at the very end. So I've toned it down. I'm now going to use a cotton bud. I find these really useful for spreading the pastel. I'm working on pastel matte paper. So pastel matte paper, Clairefontaine pastel matte actually absorbs the pastel. And I'm just going to generally work this in and pull the colors in to one another. So I get the grades of color as I actually come down the tongue. doesn't matter about the other details here, those can be tidied up later. So we're pulling the colours into one another and backwards and forwards to give that lovely, lovely texture of a tongue. Pull them in, make sure you pull them in so there are no lines. Blur them in together. Then just use your finger to actually use all those little bits of pastel so you don't you don't actually waste anything. So now I'm going to actually highlight more lighter areas and I'm using a light number six from Unison. And this highlights the lighter areas of the tongue. Building up layers all the time, that's the secret with pastels. And I'm taking a clean cotton bud and working lighter over the dark. Again, use your finger just to blend it all in together. I'm going to use a stub here to actually take it to the edge. Just 
just spreading the pastel all the time. I'm going to define a little bit more using a pencil. Just lightening up other areas, like on the edge, and then it actually lightens here and here. Again, we're beginning to see the texture in the tongue. There's no right or wrong way to do this. This is just the way I do it. And lots of artists, well, everybody seems to have their own method, but, but this is the way I find works for me. And I'm just going to highlight the center of the tongue there with a tiny little bit of black and then just blend that in. I'm going to take a bit of white just to highlight the edge a little bit down the center. And then once again, I'm just going to work that in. I think I'm going to add a little bit of very light, this is a Faber-Castell pink, brighter pink, just to brighten up a little bit. Work it in. Use your finger. And there we have a tongue.